good to see you. So, I was texturing the transparency map of my new hair and I thought I need to make some new custom brushes for it so I can paint more efficiently. And while I was creating these, I got more and more ideas and I decided to make an entire pack. So, I made 16 Photoshop particle brushes as a free download and I like to do a quick demonstration of them. You can use them directly on 3D renders or texture, color or bump maps for your 3D models with them. Now, first off, I want to explain something very crucial about Photoshop brushes. I'm uh, just going to show this with a default brush. When you load the brush, uh, give it a cool color and set the opacity to 10% and the flow to 100%. And if you paint with that brush without lifting your Wacom pen from the tablet, the opacity will never go beyond that set 10%, right? even if you paint over the same spot multiple times uh, without lifting your pen, that is. However, when you do lift your pen and paint again on the same spot, the color will be darker and after each lift, it's going to be darker and darker. So you keep loading more paint on the same spot and that is with the opacity at 10%. Now, if you set the opacity to 100% and the flow to 10%, so the other way around, and you paint on the same spot without lifting your pan, you can see it becomes darker and darker and keeps loading more paint on the same spot, even though you don't lift your pen. The advantage with the flow method is you can get a much more smoother blend without the banding effect. And the advantage with the opacity method is that you can get a flat, evened out surface. So depending on which effect you are after, keep that in mind, using particular brushes. Now let's show you some actual brushes. The first brush is this one and it is suitable to add random soft uh, sparse little hairs like this and you can use that for uh, chest hair for example and the second brush brush number two and that has sharp prickly short hairs uh, that so reminds me of scratchy beards. <laughs> and the third brush, brush number three, and that is suitable to paint fluffy borders like this. And also making clothing transparency textures with uh, rough edges. Or even you can use it for uh, organic grassy details on your renders. And on to brush number four.
and this brush can be used for example to paint wild pubic hair <laughs> or armpit hair or uh, hairy knees whatever floats your boat and the fifth brush this one That one is very suitable to paint a, a five o'clock shadow, a stubble beard or a shaved hat uh, would also work with this one. And on to brush number six. And this is usable for a bristly beard stubble or pubic hair or shaved hats as well. Nicely multi purpose. And we are at brush number seven. And with a small brush, uh, this brush, uh, like this, uh, then it can be suitable for stubble. And with a large brush size, you can see uh, tiny curls, uh, maybe some grown in hairs. Uh, brush 8 This uh, one gives uh, tiny short random stripes and that is uh, ideal to paint facial hair like so The nine brush. And that can be used to uh, texture soft, longer chest hair. Or paint it in your uh, renders directly. On to a number 10. And the 10 brush is clearly suitable for painting grass on your renders. Like so. Uh, brush 11 this one has long soft hairs uh, also very suitable for chest hair I apparently have a thing for chest hair or something Then moving on to brush 12. It has tiny short stripes. And this one is really handy to block in large areas.
Brush number 13. And this can make wild, long, soft, unruly hairs. Up next is uh, number 14. And this one is wild and curly. Maybe cool for curly borders as a, a graphic design element. And I will uh, combine brush 15 and 16. And those are suitable for skin pattern texturing. And this works best when varying the size of the brush. And uh, these ones are very handy for texturing skin bump maps. Uh, you get the, you know the effect what you see on the knuckles on your hand. And the density of the result is influenced by going over the same area multiple times. Uh, and you can get really useful outcomes that way. For all the brushes, you can customize the brush settings to your liking. Uh, for example, to change the spacing, select the brush tip shape and add it the spacing percentage. Now, if you appreciate this free Photoshop brushes download, you can, as a thank you, subscribe to my channel or send me a RTX uh, 3090. Either one is fine. <laughs> I put the link to the free brush download in the description for you. I thank you for watching and have fun with the brushes. Make it a great day.